An alkaline fuel cell is one of the commercial types of fuel cells. Its name derived from alkalis that are used as electrolytes, generally potassium or sodium hydroxide solution. Alkaline fuel cells have quite a simple design. Pure oxygen and hydrogen, used as fuel and oxidizer respectively, are used to induce an electrochemical reaction. The reaction itself proceeds as follows. Hydrogen passes through the anode and reacts on OH ions that are contained in alkaline electrolyte. This results in two uncoupled electrons and water, which gradually dilutes electrolyte. At the cathode, there is a reaction between oxygen and water contained in electrolyte. The reaction also includes ions from the external circuit. This reaction results in hydroxide ions, O2H. Finally, reactions produce a flow of electrons that maintain the charge matter balance in electrolyte. Besides, energy is partially converted into heat. The electron flow or current in the external circuit is direct current used for operation. Alkaline fuel cells offer quite a high performance factor of about 70%. Individual modules may have the power of dozens of kilowatt. Alkaline fuel cells operate at the temperature that is quite low for fuel cells, about 100 degrees Celsius. Alkaline fuel cells offer a number of advantages, such as simple design, relatively low price and high performance factor. However, they have large dimensions. Besides, they require pure oxygen and hydrogen for operation. Nevertheless, alkaline fuel cells find practical operations from the mid-20th century. These are some of the ideas of using them in the municipal transportation utilities. Alkaline fuel cells were initially employed in the space industry. Many spacecraft, such as Apollo, Space Shuttle and Soviet Buran, were equipped with alkaline fuel facilities. Alkaline fuel cells prospects are still far from being exhausted.